October 12, 2014 from Ralph Wilson Stadium in Buffalo, New York. It was the New England Patriots at the Buffalo Bills. And there was no scoring in the first quarter, but in the second quarter, the Patriots got on the board with a one-yard touchdown pass from Tom Brady to Tim Wright, and that put the Patriots' head 7-0 over the Bills. The Bills then responded about 10 minutes later when Kyle Orton hit Robert Woods for a seven-yard touchdown pass that tied this game up at 7. Steven Gotkowski then got a field goal. A little less than two minutes left before halftime to make it 10-7. to And then he had another field goal right as the half came to a close to make it 13-7. to So the Patriots were ahead of the Bills by six points going into the locker rooms at halftime. Then in the third, the Patriots would lead off the second half with a... 80-yard drive going 80 yards in just six plays in about two and a half minutes as Brady hit Brian Timms for a 43-yard touchdown that made it 20-7. to But then the Bills responded as they came back with an 80-yard drive that was 13 plays and took seven minutes, capped off by a one-yard touchdown run by Fred Jackson that made it a six-point game with the score Patriots 20, Bills 14. Steven Gostkowski then would kick his third field goal of the game, this one from 40 yards out, with about three minutes left in the third, and that made it 23-14 Patriots over Buffalo. And that was it for the third quarter. Then in the fourth, the Patriots extended their lead as Tom Brady hit Brandon LaFell for an 18-yard touchdown pass that made it 30-14. But then the Bills came back with an 80-yard drive going 80 yards in eight plays in less than three minutes as Kyle Orton hit Chris Hogan for an eight-yard touchdown pass that made it an eight-point game as it was now 30-22. to The Patriots still responded as Tom Brady hit Brandon LaFell this time for 56 yards in the touchdown to make it 37-22, to and that would be the final score as the Patriots hold on to win, and they bring their record to 4 and 2 as they're at first place in the AFC East and the Bills are 3 and 3 and in this game Tom Brady was 27 for 37 with 361 passing yards and four touchdowns. Kyle Orton was 24 for 38 with 299 passing yards, two touchdowns and one interception. There wasn't much rushing in this game, but Fred Jackson was the leading rusher with 26 yards off of 10 carries. He also had a touchdown. And the leading receiver was Scott Chandler for the Buffalo Bills. He had 105 yards off of six receptions. And Bobby LaFell, or Brandon LaFell, was the leading receiver for the Patriots with 97 yards off of four receptions. Rob Gronkowski had 94 yards off seven receptions. Julian Edelman had 91 yards off of nine receptions. So they had three receivers all over 90 yards receiving and almost 100, but not quite. LaFell did have those two touchdowns. Tims had one touchdown off of that one 43-yard reception. And for the defense, Bradham was the game's leading tackler. He had 11 tackles, and that was for Buffalo. Buffalo had two sacks in this game. Both Super Mario Williams and Hughes each had a sack. The Patriots had five sacks, as Rob Ninkovich had three sacks in this game. Skinner had one sack, and Jones, Chandler Jones, had one sack as well. And Collins had the game's lone interception. So the Patriots win this one 37 to 22.